Obadiah reads much like the other minor prophet books we've read, except he's addressing his message to Edom. For backstory, the people of Edom were the descendants of Esau, and the people of Israel were the descendants of Jacob. And just like the brothers had a very contentious relationship, so did the generations that followed. The actions of Edom that Obadiah is specifically referring to is when Israel was conquered by Babylon. Instead of coming to their aid, they refused to help. They plundered and killed the survivors, yes, their own relatives. Every word of Obadiah's prophecies were fulfilled in the 5th century before Christ. Edomites are never found again as a people in history. But in verse 15, Obadiah expands his message to all godless nations, and he expands his prophecy to what is still to come. The day is near when I, the Lord, will judge all godless nations. As you have done to Israel, so it will be done to you. Just like Pastor John said in Sunday's message, you can choose what you believe, but you can't choose the consequences of the decision. We have the choice to reflect the glory of God's grace through a life of surrender and obedience with God, or to be an example of the glory of God's judgment from a life of sin and unrepentance. Obadiah teaches that in the end, our Lord will be king in verse 21. Those who have been rescued will go up to Mount Zion to Jerusalem to rule over the mountains of Edom, and the Lord himself will be king.